quickly, when you think of BYU football from the past, what's the first thing that might come to mind? Well, one thing for me, it's quarterbacks. That's right, QBs. Of course, Steve Young and Jim McMahon come to mind, a couple of Super Bowl winning QBs. In the case of Young, also a Pro Football Hall of Famer. Ty Detmer was no slouch either, as he won the Heisman Trophy 26 years ago. Now, here we are in 2016, and Detmer is back. But this time, he's offensive coordinator for his alma mater, and he'll have a major decision to make before the season opener. And if you want my opinion, which I'm probably sure you don't, I think they should go with Mangum as a starting quarterback. Why, you ask? Because the guy has time to get even better. Remember, he's a sophomore, Taysom Hill. He got another year of eligibility, and he's had three season-ending injuries. And by the way, if you want to, you could actually keep both on the field at the same time, maybe have Hill as a uh, running back to back up Jamal Williams, who's back after he left the team last August. So Taysom Hill getting an extra year of eligibility for the hardship medical you could actually use him as a running back. I think he's more effective as a runner anyway than he is as a thrower. And I think Mangum, by the way, has the better arm. So I think they should go with Mangum. But we'll see what, in the end, new head coach uh, Kalani Sataki and O.C. Detmer decide. Receivers, they lost three of the top four, returning only uh, Nick Kurtz as far as the uh, leading experience in that department. Three of the five linemen, though, are back, including Brad Wilcox, the senior at left tackle. And as far as coaching changes for that BYU staff, it was widespread. New head coach as well. And Kalani Sataki takes over for Bronco Mendenhall now at Virginia. Defense will see changes too. In Eliza Tuiaki, they'll switch from a 3-4 to a 4-3. Front seven should be more aggressive. But the corners will have more responsibility because they're going to be playing more man-to-man. -man. So it's going to take time for the BYU secondary to adjust. But plenty of experience back. But it's the guy that's new in Troy Warner, the freshman that decommitted from Oregon, that has people talking in Provo. Linebacker is going to be very experienced with Troy's older brother Fred at one linebacker, Henry Longy at the other, but they do have to compensate for the loss of their pass rusher, Bronson Kafusi, who's now with the Baltimore Ravens. You guys up for a toga party? Toga! Toga! I think they like the idea, Hoof. Time now for my six-pack of games to consume. If I wanted to, I could have made it an eight- or nine-pack of games to consume. Their schedule, BYU's, is that loaded. One of the toughest you'll find, including the Holy War at Utah early on, home against UCLA, and at Michigan State in early October. This schedule is absolutely merciless. I do think the Cougars will get to bowl eligibility, but simply put too many landmines on this very demanding schedule, plus it'll take time to get adjusted to the new defensive formation. Anything greater than six wins this season would be a surprise. 